fat butt. Wiggle, wiggle. Hi, my friends. Welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets. I'm Meet the Man Skyver, your friend. And uh, I thought we'd start something different today. Um, I've been getting a lot of fan mail. And uh, it's hard to keep up with it. It's hard to respond to it properly. And a lot of it is really meaningful and deep and heartfelt. And um, just answering it with another email uh, doesn't seem adequate. Uh, I got a letter like this today from... Um, a fellow named Reggie, and uh, I'd like to read it to you. Um, I'd like for you to hear it. I think it, it might mean something to you. Um, in the background, uh, I know some of you have been interested in my autograph collection. I collect autographs on DVDs, if you didn't know. So I, I strung together a little video show um, of what would be called Autograph Prawn uh, that I hope you enjoy. And um, yeah, let's take it away. Hey Ethan, I wanted to drop you a note of appreciation and thanks for all the fan service you've been providing on Twitter and through your YouTube channel. I routinely see that you get a lot of shit from people, sometimes for things Dan Slott has said and done. And I wanted to make sure you knew that there are folks who really do dig your artwork and especially how you've reached out to fans. I know I'm not the only one. I also wanted to send you a message about something that has been on my mind for a long time. How you really helped me out without even knowing you'd done it. I will title this, How Ethan Van Skyver Helped Me to Get Over the 2016 Election. I promise this is not a political diatribe. This is about how you helped me emotionally during that time. Just quickly, I did not support Trump for president and still don't. On the morning after the election, when Trump won, I was despondent. Of course, I, I bought into a lot of the propaganda telling me that the world was going to end if Trump was elected, and the jeering from Trump supporters online didn't help my feelings one bit. Had Hillary won, it would have been exactly the same or worse from the other side. I, I get that. That morning, I found out that you are a conservative that votes Republican. I didn't know this previously. If you'd mentioned it, I might have missed it. It wouldn't and didn't affect my appreciation for your art, but there you were on Twitter championing your candidate, as you should. But there was something in your communication that was different. What I think a lot of people who immediately called for boycotting your work didn't get from you that day was a lot of compassion for what many would say was the opposing side. You explained very plainly and calmly that you thought your candidate was better than the other, and now we would all see what he was capable of. And you wrote something else that really stuck with me and, and helped put my mind at ease. You wrote, trust your fellow Americans. This gave me a lot of perspective. 
something outside the mainstream media that would depict one side as screeching socialists and the other as slavering racists. Because like you, I, I've been all around this country, and while I've met some real characters, by and large I see that Americans share the same values. We want equality, we want safety, we want opportunities for everyone. We differ on how to go about these things, but I do think we'd all like to wind up more or less in the same place. And I definitely got that vibe from you. And seeing how you show up for your fans without wondering about their politics, I think that your actions speak volumes about how you'd like the world to work. You didn't change my personal politics that day, and I, I still dislike Trump. But thanks to your demeanor, I don't see this country as divided as cable news channels make it out to be. I've spoken to lots of my friends around the country since then, some of whom are Trump supporters. And I see that we have much more in common than we're different. And I might not have entertained these conversations at all if you hadn't comported yourself in the way you did that day. If you had not suggested that I trust my fellow Americans. Anyway, I wanted to extend my thanks. And though I don't know you personally, I think you're definitely a good person who endeavors to be even better. Politics aside, if more people followed your lead, we'd all be much better off in a lot of ways. Y you helped me get through something difficult without even knowing or trying. Don't let any of these trolls get you down, because you're absolutely putting a lot of positivity into this world. All the best, Reggie. Thank you, Reggie. That means a lot to me. And uh, I want to tell you, first of all, um, you're a good American. <laughs> and uh, we need more people like you, especially right now uh, when things are as divisive and complicated needlessly uh, as they seem to be. Um, so I wanted to tell you I really appreciated your letter. I hope you didn't mind me reading it aloud. Um, but it meant a lot to me.